hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so um, after my last video I did ask if anybody added anything particular they wanted to see and someone did say they'd like to see Holly Jolly um, Christmas again um, which is fantastic because I had actually forgotten about this kit um, so much so that I didn't think I knew where it was but actually when I went looking for it um, it was the first thing that was on the top so um, and that was a bit of a result so I'm just um, grabbing a few things out of here so I'd already sort of pre-chosen what I was going to play with and I was going to be this sheet here um, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring any of these elements in these were the um, free sheets you've got if I think if you bought something on a certain day um, I think that was the deal um, but I've also got the little book for this as well, which well, actually I've got two little books because I've got one in my goodie box as well. So I'm going to start with um, just a normal um, six by six tent fold card. So I'm going to bring in some six by 12, 300 GSM white card. And I'm going to start by giving that a score on the six inch mark. And then I can fold that over. Oops. And give that a burnish down. And then we can pop that one out of the way. Just going to give that one another burnish down. So let me pop that out of the way as well while I bring in the trimmer. So, um, this is foiled in gold so we're going to need some gold foil so i'm going to start with the uh, background first of all so um, i want a piece that's going to be the two notches under the six and that's going to be a square and then uh, the first one i'm doing is the owl so I really would like to get as much purple as I can so let me chop this border off obviously we'll use that elsewhere and then hopefully we'll get five and three quarters of the blue pretty much let me just let's adjust our layers a little bit or shall we do a ribbon Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at the 5 inch. And I'm going to do 5 by 6. And I know I'm going to be putting something across the centre. So let's move those out of the way. So on the 5 inch, I'm going to cut that at 2.5. I feel like I'm being very brave at the moment. Okay. And then that's to be um, by five and three quarters. And five and three quarters. Okay. And then those should fit quite nicely onto there. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to take another piece of this gold berry and I'm going to cut a piece, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go two inches by five and three quarters. Actually I might as well go to the six, uh, two notches under the six because um, at the end it would be gold anyway so I might as well just make it the same as that layer there just take a tiny wee piece off is that any better? yeah okay let's get rid of that out of the way then I've got this um, paper that came with the kit and I'm going to cut this to five and three quarters and I'm going to go two notches I'm measuring it on this side at the moment 
I'll really bring that down so you can see it, sorry. Um, two notches under the two. And that should fit quite nicely onto our gold piece. And I've done it so that the stripes go um, horizontally. Okay, I just thought that would be better. And in the centre of this, I'm going to have the um, border that's printed on there. So I think that is all we need for now. So let's pop this together. So just going to turn that over because it's slightly whiter on the other side. I'm going to do it. That side. Okay, so the glues I'm going to be using, as always, in this um, clear dispenser, I've got the Kalal um, all purpose glue and the Kalal tacky glue in this white one. So we can go ahead and just pop our layers down as we normally would. And uh, a little bit of tacky glue in those corners just to get those corners stuck down and also it just makes everything glue down nice and quickly for me. And then we're going to come in with this purple and I'm going at the top and the bottom because we've got that strip going across the centre. And I had already planned to put a strip across the centre um, I was hoping I would get enough out of the purple that I wouldn't need to cut this but this is a good trick if you've only got a bit of card that you want to use um, and you um, you sort of want to make the most of it because sometimes we have card I mean I, I, well, I talk talk um, you know as if everyone's the same as me but yeah sometimes there's card that you just don't want to waste I mean there's card that you don't want to use don't get me wrong I've got some kits I dare not even touch because they're just so beautiful um, but yeah sometimes there is card that you don't want to use so this is paper so I'm just going to use the um, dotty tape pen on the on the ends rather than the um, tacky glue just because this is paper and that's got some water water content in the tacky glue so this just make sure um, my paper doesn't rock up yeah, so there's papers that um, I don't want to use. There we go, just give that a good press down. Just make sure those dotty, that dotty um, glue picks that up. Make sure that's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to come directly over the top with that. I think I am going to go flat with it. Um, and I'm going to pop the tacky glue at each end. And then some all purpose in the middle. Just pop that across fairly centrally. And if I line up those two gold pieces on this end, it should pretty much be straight. If you want to go a little higher one side, you know, have a, a deeper border at the bottom, I was kind of hoping to get it sort of centrally, which is pretty much what I've done there. So let's bring our toppers in grab my knife and I want to use this one with the with the holly on I kind of felt that would go nice with that um, that red and the purple let's try cutting that there and then that should just pop up and we'll trim that in a second and then I want the owl and all of its layers to go in that middle. So I'm just going to ease it out nice and carefully. Um, and then, oh, it's not an owl, it's a penguin. <laughs> just looking at the sentiment, it says scent with penguin kisses, and I couldn't work out why it was saying penguin. Um, but it's because that is actually a penguin, not an owl. So, apologies. Okay, let me just grab my trimmer. Just going to straighten up that end. And then I'm going to cut that down to two notches under the six. So that's going the whole length of my border. Just 
just need to take a tiny little piece off and of course I'm saving any bits in case I want to use them as flags on a different card so yeah, it's much better okay so my plan yeah I had a panic moment and then I thought I've done it the wrong way around my plan is to have this on the middle this there and this is going behind like so and then we'll probably have a couple of gems here a couple of gems here and drops a good one so nice simple card nice simple cutting just going to use tacky glue along the length of that border I think probably around about there is the center There we go. So then we can pop these layers out. We can decide what we're going to do layer wise. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these layers or whether to use some of them. Uh, sometimes it's nice just to do a square card, just some simple cutting. Um, I have got a nice um, sort of fancy fold but um, which I, I was toying with the idea of doing to be honest but um, I've kind of decided to go with sort of two more straightforward cards I did like fancy fold last time and I know people like them but there's some people that think oh, they're a bit difficult they're never difficult honestly um, sometimes you do need to practice them once or twice and I usually buy a little bit of white card for a pound there's 30 sheets um, from the pound shop or uh, you know I suppose over in America you'd have a dollar store just cheap card that you would buy for children and it's thinner it's only um, I think it's only like about 130 or 150 140 GSM and what I do is I try the card out as best I can with that um, because usually what happens is I see a card I like and um, it's not in the size I want um, because I, I try and keep it to a six by six because it's just easier if I do everything the, the sort of similar size easier for me if I'm going to buy envelopes and things um, so yeah so that's what I, I try and do but um, it's a, a practice on on that cheap card first of all and then I've not I don't feel like I've wasted anything because that's just sort of rubbish card anyway or what I consider to be sort of rubbish card okay so I think what we're going to do I think we do need that gold in there I want to hide all those that working behind I want that to be that nice surprise at the, the end I think what I'm going to do is this one down let's do this one first of all and I'm going to use these are probably about a two millimeter um, frame pad and I'll grab my scissors put that on there for a second so I'm putting them at the top and the bottom first of all because I know there's no interference with that with this cardstock here because remember we've got um, three layers there so that's just coming up a little bit there so let me just pop a little bit of glue under this is what I mean about ends popping up I don't like them at all okay so I need to put just a little bit on each corner I think so I'm just going to put that quite flush Just to give that bit of support there as well. And if I take a little bit of there. And then that should be quite nice. Okay, so let's pop this on. Yeah, so if you do struggle, um, it's worth just buying some cheap card or card that you don't think you're going to use. And then if it works, which it should do, because all of the cards I make are pretty similar, I tend to um, 
try and find things that are similar to what I've done before. So like that card, the triple fold, um, shut the trifold shutter card that I did the other day. The cuttings are very similar to the easel card that I do. No easel, stepper card that I do. So um, it's just an extra fold on on the sort of uh, vertical, um, but it is very similar. So if you can do that um, stepper card, then you can definitely do that trifold shutter. And it's just a question of cutting your layers. And that's not easy. Um, that's not hard either because I did them all as sort of rectangles. So it's just a question of straight cutting. Okay, so I've popped that on there, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop some tacky glue on these ends because I'm not going to press it right down. I want it flattish. So I'm just going to poke that in to there. Oops, and then it's going to fly out like that. So I'll do it again. Come on now, stay where you're supposed to be. Do in there. Just got a tiny bit of glue there coming out. Let me just grab that. Not really going to see it, but I just prefer it to be a bit tidier. Okay, and then we've got this one here. And what I think I might do, so I think these are slightly deeper. No, they're the same. So. Um, have I got any of these? No, I'm going to do the same. So we've we've got the same level, pretty much. And I am putting them in each corner, but the likelihood is it's really only going to stick in these centre parts. If you wanted to just put your pads on that centre part there and then pop this topper on the top, that would work as well probably would be a smarter move than what I've done although this is not going to affect the card I don't think so plenty of tacky glue let's turn our penguin around the right way and then just pop him in so we've got that like so and then we want this, I'm going to do this on exactly the same level. Let's use a new strip. Have you guys been thinking of any New Year's resolutions yet? I've been kind of thinking about um, trying to organise my, um, my stuff going to have a good like clear out between January and March so those kits I've been holding on to for 10 years um, I am probably see look even now I'm still I'm probably going to either have a go at using probably won't be on camera because it's not fair you can't get a hold of them anymore um, I'll probably have a go at using them up or um, selling or at least selling the parts of it because some there's always sometimes in, in a kit there's always one or two pages that I think oh I don't know if I'm going to use that so I probably might get rid of some see that probably might this means <laughs> not gonna happen. No, I definitely need to. At the moment, sort of, I started like since I started making these videos, I started putting the kits in in wallet envelopes, like um, you know the A4 or A4 document wallets. And although that is keeping things tidier and together, I want to do go a bit further. So like have color coded. So like the Christmas kits. I'm just putting three gems on, sorry. Um, the Christmas kits, I want them all to be in red envelopes so that even if they're in a pile, like at the moment I've got a big stack uh, pretty much in front of me or not far in front of me. Um, I could then go, oh, those are all Christmas. Like 
because I want to get the Christmas ones back out. Um, it would be it's going to be you know, easier to just pick up a pick a red envelope out of the pile if there's still a pile. Hopefully there won't be a pile. Hopefully they'll all be in drawers. Is that the same size? so um, the other thing I want to do next year and I'm hoping you guys will join in as well is um, so whatever video I do closest to the 25th of the month so like 25th January 25th February etc I'm gonna do Christmas crafting so so I'm gonna do um, try and make Christmas cards all year round so this means I can still use up my Christmas from this year so hopefully we'll get at least I say 50-60% of it used up um, and that way also I'll have a little stash for Christmas um, and also if you guys have got the kits and you're still not sure what to do with them then we're still using them up. So I'm hoping you'll join in and do a sort of one card or two cards a month for Christmas all year round. And that's my little challenge. So that is that card finished. If you want to go further with it, you can go with your um, quickie glue pen and your glitter um, on these some of these little stars. You could put um, a clear gems or sparkly gems on the center of these little um the snowflakes sorry not stars um and just add that sparkle in i can't do that because my sister's nicked it because she's nicked my glitter and my glue pen to um well you remember i gave her i said when i got the goodie box i was going to give her those um that hunky dory um i think they're sayings books because she really loves her coloring um so she's been having a play with that and she's doing some Christmas decorations for her room as well so she has nicked that so I haven't got it to hand at the moment okay so I'm just going to get a set up for card number two okay so card number two again it's a piece of six by twelve and again I'm just doing a straightforward six by twelve um a six by six card so again, just scoring at that six inch mark, giving that a good burnish down. Giving that a good score down. Um, then we can bring in our trimmer. Again with that gold, because we have got the gold foil on those toppers. And I'm going two notches under the six notches under the six perfect and then I'm bringing the printed cardstock in and I'm going at five and three quarters now I do have to try and decide on what I want to cut off so I think I'm going to take Up there so I've taken about half an inch off there uh, then I've cut that to size and then what I'm going to do is just put that on there straight and then I just want to take Probably about three planks, which works out to be about three quarters of an inch. Get my tape, make sure that stays straight. Yeah, so it's about three quarters of an inch. Just because I do want that bit of flooring on the bottom because uh, I do want to bring in one of the um, characters that was on the free sheet or that were on the free sheet. 
so I think that is all I need in the way of cutting so let's go ahead and get this assembled so, uh, tacky glue in those corners and then we're just going to pop it down And then again with this one, so all purpose glue all over, a little bit of tacky in those corners, just got a bit of glue on my hands, let me just get rid of that, and then we're just going to pop that on nicely, give that a really good press down. And then I can come along with this bit of floorboard just so we can ground our character once we've put the topper on. So I'm just going to put that over the top. And that's going to create our little bit of flooring. So um, that's where I've gone with that. So let me bring in the topper. So we've got Mrs. Moose having her cup of tea, probably Christmas morning, would we think? She's surrounded by presents, she's not surrounded by children in this one. Um, and then I want the Merry Christmas Moose, because isn't that the best, best sentiment? And then if I bring in the and, uh, the Christmas morning I want Mr. Moose and these lovely little snowman slippers oh, I doesn't want to come out Mr. Moose come on I'm just trying to be a little bit careful with them now I did toy with the idea of using the tree. I'll just put my knife under there. Um, but there's already a tree in the topper, so I decided I would save that. I'm just gently going around the edges just to release those pips. There we go. Don't need to. rip him and these antlers are quite, quite filigree so let's just oh, sorry about this they're just a little bit uh, not quite cut through in places but the marks are there so it's easy just to there we go I think we're there I think we're there here he comes. There we go. Mr. Moose. And um wanted a present or two, so we can have a green one. And I think we'll have a red one for him as well. And I don't think we need anything else. Okay, so let's pop him there with his presents. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab some foam pads. These are probably about a two millimeter, or might even be three. They look quite chunky. No, they're two. So I'm just going to pop those onto. Here. I'll just take those backs off. Oh, a little bit of tape on there. 
little bit of glue. And then just going to put that on like so. I'll just put a bit of glue on my finger. On the foam pad. It's not coming off. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm going to come maybe with. They're still two millimeters. Still want it to be the same height. I'm going to use some of these strips because some of these bits on here are quite filigree. So I'm just going to pop this on him. And I'll just try not to uh, stretch the foam pad so it makes him go sort of curved. So let's just pop a little bit on his antler there, a little bit on his antler there. And a tiny little bit on his arm. Okay, so my thought was to have that coming across and he's going to be there on that with those presents behind. So this piece needs to go up as well. So let's use these pads. And I'll put that in the wrong place. Let's take that off again. And actually, it doesn't matter if there's a tiny bit of lift there, but just try and get as much of that off. Nobody's going to see it. Bit of a mess. Apologies. Okay. So let's use this other bit of pad. side where we needed it to be. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. Put glue on there. So we'll do it. We'll put things in the one place every now and then. So that is going on to there. And then I kind of want this piece going to be there. I'm wondering whether on one of them there is a sack presence. Ah, yeah. Let me just that yeah, Let's see if I want to pop that behind him. Maybe one in front, not the red one, obviously. Yeah, I think that looks. Should I just go with the sack? Maybe just the sack. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of tacky glue on this one. And I'm just going to pop that, let's pop that there. And then we can take all of these backings off. I might still decide to put a present on yet. feel the same sort of I'm quite indecisive about my card making sometimes just grab it that one there we go so again tacky glue just to give me a little bit of wiggle room time then I'm gonna pop him I don't want him coming off the card really but you know, off, off. I don't mind him coming over my layers. There's him with his little sack. There, they're having their little cup of tea together. He's a bit smaller than her, so he could possibly be um, a teenage son, or you know, you can make it fit whatever scenario you have. Okay, so then I think what I want to do next is just bring that up. 
Yeah, I'm going to grab some small red gems. Okay, so I've got these super tiny nail art ones. to this side and at the top here in this holly we've got all of these little berries sorry I still got this glue on my fingers um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stick gems on each of these berries or as much of them as I can so because that's going to be quite boring to watch what I'm going to do is just fast forward now to when that's done okay so that's all the gems on to what i've done there wasn't so many holly berries on here but because you can't really see what was printed underneath i just put a couple there just to even that border out so uh we've got a couple on each one you can't really like i say you can't really see what's behind but there were clusters of um small berries there so um that's that um if you wanted to make this different what you could have done before uh, obviously you put the layers on you could have put a bit of red ribbon behind there uh, maybe a bow in the corner, um, you know, embossed this piece maybe. Um, loads of um, other ways that you can mix that up. Um, but all that needs now is an insert. So I'm going to bring in that other card that we made earlier. So you can see they're totally different cards, even though they're both sort of tentfold ones. Okay, they're like tentfold because they tend to stand really well on a on a shelf or a mantelpiece uh, wherever people keep their shelves these days um, and also if people put them on you know I don't know whether people still do this but we used to have the string um, on the door that we used to put our cards in so if people are doing that with the cards they still um, are the right way up so if you've done your card that way uh, when they put it on the string it's then sort of upside down or sideways so it's nice um, if people are displaying them as well so they still get to see them the right way up. Um, but that's it for today. So next time I'm going to come back with the Christmas decolage for sure. i um, not quite sure uh, which ones I'll do but I'll do two cards on that one. Um, if there is anything else you want to see um, let me know. Um, I have got the uh, sort of when I was searching through I was looking at the Robin one there's quite a few Robin ones this year um, so after the decollage I'm probably going to go to that unless anybody particularly wants to see anything different but that's it for today so thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves happy crafting bye bye